But that's that's Lydia's purpose. What games do I play besides League? Uh, I play Street Fighter 6 a bit. And I play like a lot of Nintendo games. Those are pretty much what I play besides League. That's Talia's support. And they got a lot of dashes. Honestly, it's the Yumi counter. You just stun her. She tries to touch. Do not play Rocket League. Is Adaptive Force better than Attack Speed? I mean, I think it's preference, but personally, I think the Adaptive Force is better. Because you usually trade alongside your W, which is like, that's all your Attack Speed. AD gives you so much more damage. Some people like the Attack Speed more. I just, I think the AD is a little bit better, but it's not a huge deal. Dude, I wish I could say I relate. I run into too many Camille still. Pretty much all I play against is Camille, Riven, Fiora on repeat. And those are like the lamest matchups. I have not played Bug Fables. I, I've watched my friend play it. Yeah, it's like Thousand Year Door. It looks like a pretty cool game. I haven't played it myself, but I've seen the game. I don't know what our win rate is, but I'm sure it's good. What even was that? About to say, no way she has like. Let's get through still there. That was awkward. I like auto E flashed. I she had flash for a second. Saw a TP ignite Camille. Could kill her there because she wasted her passive on me and then her Q like timed out her Q2 so I could just start like trading with her build up conquer and then all in her next to the wall so I could Q against the wall for like an auto reset and get the remount off I reach to me dude yeah, Yeah, and then she flashed like towards my side of the map too. Favorite. Need level five. Get this cannon. Let's get to killing them interloping intruders. I keep getting like solo killed. Get away from her early so I could uh, 
like have her walk up to try to proc her passive on me. And then I'd like space away from her. I mean, she you e e e in on me instantly, she should have died too. The only thing I was worried about was Hecarim. Like, I thought she was baiting for Hecarim, but then I saw him show up on the boss side. I had to short cast my R like a little bit away just so I didn't dismount in time for like my abilities to come up and I can get her to chase me a bit. That's why I R'd like slightly away from her. I just wanted to build a little shield and but still be in range to like kill her. I wasn't trying to like run. Am I supposed to win this matchup? Yeah, I, I think this matchup is impossible for Kled. Like if I thought this was like a real like game, I would probably dodge a Camille matchup. But this is like Grandmaster's MMR or something. So this guy does not apply. So I can win. What are you whining about? I already fed you half a platoon. <laughs> this is every matchup is bad. Most of his meta top lane matchups are bad, that's why. She's just she's just misplaying a lot. Kled is good in this meta. I think he's good unless you play in super high elo, like Challenger. Then I think it's hard to win. But everywhere else, I think he's good. He has good items. Good enough to win. Not this team. We have a Jarvan. Even Megas. Team's popping off. Camille gets prime banned for me? Yeah, Camille's a good man. Like, if you were gonna ban between Camille, Jax, Fiora, I'd ban either Jax or Camille. Those are easier to play than Fiora. Yeah, and it was still close, even though it was 2 and out. I just, like, I just need her to be misplaying all the time, which she is. Otherwise, she would just kill me, like, if she started playing real. Like, if she goes Divine, she's gonna one-shot me instantly. Then it doesn't matter if she misplays anymore. I don't know if she's going Divine or Triforce. Yeah, I wish it was a joke. Because every time I see that happen to me, like, a Camille will be 3 and I'm like, oh, I'm so fed. Like, in my mind, I'm like, okay, but she has Divine, so she's gonna beat me. But then I look at everything else, I'm like, no way I lose, though, when I'm 3 and 0, right? And then she still wins. That always happens to me. Okay, this is actually D1 Masters MMR. Not, not too high. I wasn't even gonna stop her, she didn't know this. It actually worked. This Yorick went Sereldis, Cleaver, Divine Hole. I had Eclipse Ravenous Mortal Axing Time by Warner's Mill. Guess who won that fight? 
Yeah, if you had divine, I'm guessing you won. This land was made for me and me alone. Yeah, the rest of the items are filler. <laughs> you just needed to save divine hold right here. I'm like, I think you would win. Played with blue buff, you already know. Some mana regens out of this world. Oh, we already got first power in mid lane. Has 6 9, she did, she has divine. Like, our whole team is squishy. Why anyone plays Kled? I, mean, I think he's fun and I like the character. But not that many people play him. Does blue buff still give CDR? Yeah, it gives you 10 haste. I only need one more minion wave. Oh. Finish my coal. Oh, there's my fourth auto again. Okay. Like, I'm sure you can just see this damage, and that's why you know this match is stupid. He's now one shotting me right now. Jesus, bro. Like, I needed one more minion, but I couldn't get it. This is why this match is this stupid. Because everything that happened earlier now is not mattering. She's just winning. What are you doing? Okay, I finished my call. It's so stupid that it does that, dude. And and, and you have to keep in mind this is a this is a triple nerfed divine sunder. That item used to be three times as strong as it is right now. I want you to imagine playing Kled into that original version. After seeing this right here. Yeah, right there I could run on them. They were pushing up really far at TP. I don't really care if she gets some of these points. The roaming support top arc. Some people do that just normally now. Pick supports top lane and just never farm. Just roam always. Ari's doing no damage. I was actually embarrassed. Wait, she's 1 in 6. I didn't even realize she was feeding that hard. I know, I, I turned around early because I thought the charm missed. And then I ended up walking into it by accident and then I died. I could have lived too. It was like behind me and I turned around. My team is shitting on me. Only the Zeri and all their bot lane is doing well, I guess. But when I ganked that Zeri, I now know that she does not have it in her to carry. After I saw the way she played that fight. So I think we're fine. If they change the way Kled's health work, would it help divine damage on him? I mean, it depends on what they change. The reason it hurts him so much is because both of your health bars are added up together at all times. Whether you're mounted or dismounted, the damage dealt to him is as if they were together always. So if they change the way that worked, then yeah, it would help him. On point click CC, yeah, thankfully. If we had like some bullshit where we couldn't hit her at all, then this would be unplayable. I came to cut off a piece of that Noxian dream, and I ain't sharing my piece. He also has negative MR for some reason because they don't want him to go mid lane. Even though plenty of top lane champs do magic damage or build it. I fight better when I've had my He's watching the bottom let's go.
to her e hitbox is just a little forgiving. This is cute. I don't think I didn't see that. The one pixel matchup. The dismount kill. W just activated so late. I got the tier 2. Got a full mortar reminder off that this dragon fight. I don't really need it, but actually I kind of do. Camille has a lot of armor right now, just for like base armors, over 100. That Krim gets like 50 armor on his W. And then they have a mountain dragon, so actually I'll buy it. And they have a lot of healing. Give me the blue buff clad again. It's like running oom. No tier Hecarim. Do they not go tier anymore? Flash for that. We'll come back so you can eat them later. I don't think you would ever pick Clad over Pantheon if you were only focused on winning. Can't think of a reason to pick Clad over him. He does the same thing as you, but he's better. Maybe in the Mord matchup. <laughs> Maybe Cud's better there, I don't know. Stridebreaker had the dash on it? Oh, I remember. Went from having a dash, to no dash, but a huge slow, to no dash and like not even a good slow. The cool series of events. If you're better at Cled. My favorite chapter. I don't know what our bot is doing up there. Oh, are they gonna go down? This guy face checked them instead of just dropping the flag. What happened to that? Yanni doesn't have to be. I think if he was here, we could stop it. I'm just trying to stop somebody's port. Good work. Oh no, I'm gonna go right. Hey, it worked out. So close. Please kill her, Azrael. Do something. Well, no. <laughs> the guy Usa started backing. Alright, we had to like not fight the Baron, but just wait for them to finish them and fuck with their backs. So that worked out. 
If I just sent it in there, I'd probably die. They still had exhaust. Used it on me. I actually haven't gotten a single one of our towers. Zero to seven times. She missed the wall, holy, the hardest thing in the game, but yeah, you better fly out of here. Those walls could be anywhere, dude. gold that we won against the demon champs but luckily this is like masters mmr so it doesn't matter it doesn't matter yet they're not good enough <laughs> 